Hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> this is Matthew Morales with Quiet Mind Yoga, and I am here for your 12 p.m. Central Standard Time breath work and meditation practice for today. Go ahead and get yourself situated. Um, make sure that you have somewhere comfortable that you can sit. We will be seated the whole entire time today. It can be on a sofa, your bed, a chair, in your car, wherever you can find some space for yourself. Um, also, if you have something to kind of set the mood for yourself, maybe some incense, essential oils to put in a diffuser, maybe a candle to light, whatever it is that you need, go ahead and do that now. We are going to get started in about one to two minutes. I'm going to get the music going and see who's going to hop on. And then we'll start our breath work and meditation practice. I hope y'all are having a wonderful Tuesday thus far. It is beautiful out today. Windy, but it's beautiful. All right, let's see. Come on, Spotify. Yeah, I think it's going. All right. I'll go get going here in about a minute. Alrighty, y'all. We are going to go ahead and get started. We're going to just take a moment to actually settle in to our practice today. So go ahead and find a comfortable seated position. Place your hands on your lap wherever they lie most comfortably, palms to face down or palms to face up. It is completely up to you. Go ahead and close your eyes if you haven't already. Allowing yourself to disconnect from the external world of the news of social media, of work, of family, of the holidays, and travel into the internal world of the breath, to the physical body, the mental, emotional body as well. And feel yourself here in this moment, the sit bones grounding down to the surface below you. Lengthen through your spine, reaching the crown of your head up towards the ceiling above you. Allow yourself to simply be here. Whatever your mind is wanting to think about right now, let it go. Know that it'll be here after this practice if you want to pick it back up. Relax your eyebrow center. Soften the jaw. Drop the shoulders. Relax the hips the hands, the feet, and bring your awareness fully into your breath now, just the natural rhythm of your inhale and exhale through your nose. No need to control it at all. Allow your energy to settle a little more. Focusing on every inhale and exhale through your nose. Let's start to deepen the breath. So as you inhale through the nose, fill the belly up and let it expand. As you exhale through the nose, empty out completely. Draw your navel back towards the spine. Again, you inhale through the nose, fill the belly up. You exhale through the nose, empty out. Keep going just like this, these deep breaths on your own into the belly. Uh, 
last big breath here. Stay connected to that deep breath as best as you can right now. And I invite you to set an intention for this practice. What is it that you need in this moment right now? Whatever it might be, start to repeat it to yourself internally as if it's already happening for you in this moment. Let your intention go. Stay connected to that deep breath. And then blink the eyes open. Alrighty, so for our first pranayama practice, we already started working with our breath, but a specific pranayama practice, the one that we're gonna do now is Kapala Bhati. This one is also called skull shining breath. It is a forceful exhale through your nose and a passive inhale. You don't really even have to think about the inhale. It just happens naturally, really. So I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. Don't do it just yet, but simply watch me. It's going to be the forceful exhale. If you are newer to this breath work, I do recommend maybe placing a hand on your belly because every time that you exhale, the belly is going to draw back. I know that may not feel typical or feel um, how it typically does when you breathe, but that's what's going to be happening every time you exhale the belly button goes in it's going to look like this all right and notice that you hear the exhale because it's a forceful exhale but you don't really even hear the inhale you might hear just a little bit but not nearly as much as the exhale now, if you're newer to this, take this as slow as you need to. I know you may not be used to breathing through the nose, into the belly, and that's okay. Take it slow. You're still going to feel the effects of it. If you are used to it, then pick up the pace a little faster, all right? We're going to be doing three minutes of this one. Again, it's Kapalabhati, the forceful exhale through your nose, and a passive inhale. You don't even have to think about it. Hey, Connie. Alrighty, three minutes. Go ahead and close your eyes. Get yourself situated in a comfortable seated position. Hands wherever you'd like. Maybe you have one hand on your belly so you can feel that belly draw in with every exhale. Now I invite everyone to exhale and empty out completely. Inhale, fill the belly up. And begin your forceful exhales. Stay focused on the breath. Keep that circle of breath moving, forcing every exhale, releasing on the inhale. Keep the breath going, pushing all the thoughts out of the mind with every exhale. Keep it up. Relax the eyebrow center, soften the jaw. Keep it moving, you're a minute in already. If you haven't already, start to envision that breath spiraling up the spine, going up the spine and out through the crown of the head. Whatever it is that you need to release today, move it with this breath. Keep it going, keep forcefully exhaling. You're over halfway through, keep it up. I know there may be discomfort rising in the body by this point and that's okay, keep pushing through it. I promise you it will pass, it will dissipate. Keep it going.
You have 40 seconds left. See if you can pick up the pace just a little bit faster now. Give it all you've got, 40 seconds. Keep going, you have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, fill the belly up, fill the lungs up with breath and hold at the top. Hold it. Hold it. Through the teeth, exhale it out. Shh. Eyes remain closed. Come back to breathing in and out through your nose. That deep breath going into the belly. And sit here for a moment, noticing how you feel right now. Maybe you feel different and maybe you don't. Every practice affects everyone differently. going to go into our second round of Kapalabhati. This is our last round and we are doing another three minutes. If at any time it gets to be too overwhelming for you, come back to a big inhale, a full exhale, and then jump back in to the practice with us. Sitting nice and comfortable, lengthen through the spine. Eyes stay closed if you had opened them. Relax the shoulders, hands wherever you'd like, maybe on your lap, maybe a hand on your belly again. And as you're lengthening through the spine, I invite everyone to exhale and empty out. Inhale, fill the belly up. And begin forceful exhales. that circle of breath moving keep forcefully exhaling i want you to feel the energy in your body moving pay attention to how your body is reacting to this breath work maybe you feel a tinge of discomfort somewhere maybe you feel a little bit of lightheadedness a little bit of tingling same maybe some discomfort keep pushing through it maybe you find some peace through this breath work keep forcefully exhaling you got this You're already over a minute into this. See if you can pick up the pace a little bit faster now. Keep it going. Whatever it is that you felt stuck in lately, whatever's been stuck in the physical body, the mental body, the emotional body, let this breath help you release it. Keep going. You're halfway through now. You're two minutes in, one minute left. Keep it going. You are safe here practicing this breath work. I know it may not feel natural to you, but keep the breath moving. You've got this. Don't quit. You're almost done with this last round. You have 30 seconds left. Give it all that you've got. Go for it. (laughs) 
Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale through the nose, fill up. Through the teeth, exhale it out. Shh. Hold the breath out, empty out, hold it out. Hold it, don't inhale. Let the body relax as you're holding the breath out. Keep holding. You're safe here, you have enough, keep holding. And you'll start to breathe again in five, four, three, two, one, inhale, fill up, and exhale, let it go, relax, I stay closed, come back to your normal breath in and out through your nose. And gently blink the eyes open and from here we are going into a different pranayama practice it is our last one before we go into our meditation this next one that we are doing is more of a passive breath so as you know, may have noticed the one we just did was an active breath you may even start to feel a little heat you may start to have a little bit of sweating even happen I know for me when I do that one I start to sweat um, that's all part of the process. So that one's more activating. This one is more passive. This one's actually, I'd say it's my favorite one. It's called Bee's Breath or Brahmari in Sanskrit. Now watch me first because there's a couple of different steps to this one, all right? So don't do anything yet. Just simply watch me and then I'm going to have you join me. So to begin with, and again, just watch, I'm going to have you when the time comes, place your index fingers on your eyebrow center pointing towards your third eye. Then I'll have you close your eyes. Don't do it just yet. Keep watching. And when you close your eyes, you'll place your middle finger on the inside of the eyes. The ring finger will go on either side of your nostrils and the pinky finger will go on the upper lip. Now from here, I'll have you tilt your head slightly. That way your fingers can put pressure on the points where they lie. Then you'll close your ears with your thumb. And this is going to be the placement for your hands. So this is your mudra, the placement of the hands. And the breath is going to be an inhale through your nose and an exhale on a hum. It's going to mimic the sound of a bee. So in total, it's going to look like this. Hmm. Then once you went out of breath, you take another inhale and continue the practice. So what I just showed you was one full round. The inhale and the hum on the exhale is one round. We are gonna be doing seven rounds of this because each of us have different breath capacity. We're gonna be holding the hum for a little bit of different timing. So you're gonna to have to count for yourself. Count seven and then once you're done, keep the eyes closed, bring your hands back down onto your lap and let yourself Notice any effects that they may, may have had on the body. And then I'll guide you from there. All right? So sit up nice and tall wherever you are. Let's go ahead and close the eyes so you can just listen from here. Take your index fingers, place them on your eyebrow center pointing towards the third eye. The middle finger rests them on the inside of the eyes where the tear ducts are. The ring finger, go ahead and rest on either side of the nostrils. The pinky finger on the upper lip and everyone tilt your head forward slightly. Keep the ears open for this moment. And again, as a reminder, we are going to be doing seven rounds. You will have to count for yourself. Now I invite everyone to inhale, fill the belly up. Exhale, empty out a regular exhale. Close the ears and begin your seven rounds.
last one. As you're finished with your seventh round, keep the eyes closed, hands onto your lap. Come back to your normal breath in and out through your nose. And gently blink the eyes open. All righty. That is the breath work portion of today's practice. Okay, we don't have too, too much time for a meditation, so it's gonna be a brief meditation today. Let's just do it for six minutes, let's say. Um, all right. The breath, the meditation, excuse me, that we are gonna be doing today is um, the mantra with the mantra, it's all right here. So this is a great reminder to come to the present moment to be right here. That's what the mantra is uh, asking you to do. It's all right here. So you're gonna be following your breath as you're meditating. If you're newer to meditation, keep following your inhale and exhale, just the natural rhythm of the breath and keep repeating to yourself internally, it's all right here. Now, every time that you repeat it to yourself, I'm gonna have you emphasize a different word. And this is all internal, unless you need to say it out loud today, by all means, feel free to say it out loud. But you're gonna start with, it's all right here. It's all right here. It's all right here. It's all right here. So as you notice, each time that you repeat it back and emphasize the different words, a word, it kind of changes it up just a little bit more. It gives it a different feeling. So again, it's all right here. It's all right here. It's all right here. It's all right here here. All right. So that's what you're going to be repeating to yourself throughout this entire meditation. It is a brief meditation. We're only doing six minutes. Anytime you notice that your mind drift away to a thought, what am I going to eat after this? Um, well, I need to go pick up that stuff for Thanksgiving. Oh, that thing for work that I need to do before I'm on break. You're going to keep letting that go. Thoughts are going to come up. You keep letting them go and you come back to the mantra. It's all right here. Oh, I'm hungry. Eh, let that go. It's all right here and keep repeating it to yourself we've got six minutes on the clock let me get a song going go ahead and sit up nice and tall you can have some support behind you if you would like begin to close the eyes hands wherever you would like however you would like as well Relax eyebrow center, soften your jaw. Eyes are closed. Start to tap into the natural rhythm of your breath, following every inhale and every exhale. And we begin our meditation. Start to repeat to yourself, it's all right here.
Go ahead and release your mantra. Connect to a deeper breath going into the belly. And keep the eyes closed. Bring your hands together in front of you. Start to rub them together, creating heat in the palms. As you're ready, place your hands over your eyes, sharing the warmth. Gently blink the eyes open. And bring your hands back down onto your lap. And thus concludes your breath work and meditation practice for this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Alrighty, y'all. Namaste to each and every one of you. If you feel called to, we will be having a yoga asana practice tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will be moving the body. You'll still be breathing, connecting to the breath for sure, but we will be going through various yoga poses and getting more into the physical body. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, we are going to be having a 14-day holiday yoga immersion coming December 7th through the 20th. I'm super excited about this. Um, we, I'm creating an intimate group of people where we will be practicing yoga every single day. Um, it's not always going to be so rigorous yoga. Some of it will be breath work. Some of it will be just a meditation of sorts. I am having a Reiki master and intuitive come in to facilitate one, two of the classes, one each week. She is amazing. She joined me um, this past immersion that I did and everyone loved her. She's my sister from another mister. Um, and then I will have a second facilitator, guest facilitator, who will be facilitating some awareness, human behavior work. So with the holidays here and things coming up for each and every one of us, she will be able to help you work through some of the things that might be rising up inside of you, whatever that might be. So if you feel called to, please look into that. It's the 14 day holiday yoga immersion and I will see you all later. Much love. Bye, y'all.